As always, here we go. <laughs> there we go. Hey everyone, how are you? Hi everybody. Cindy and Wendy here. We're the Social Sisters coming at you from Claire's Corner on Monday, April 17th. Um, I believe it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're a little bit late with our, our podcast this time, so I apologize for that, but here we are. We um, yeah, yeah, we had we had a few health issues <laughs> coming in. <laughs> I, uh, I think major, as, just a bunch of body crap. Just a bunch of, oh my gosh, we're a little bit older now <laughs> stuff. <laughs> Only our bodies are, not our minds. <laughs> yeah, right? yeah, exactly. <laughs> how uh, I feel. But here we are. Here yeah. we are back to visit with you and talk about some of the things we've got going on and flew in with the wind today because it's a very blustery day. Windy Alberta day. It's a sure sign of spring, I think. In oh, yeah. 100%, yeah. 100%. Yes. We were, um, did you hear the thunder snow the other day? We had, yeah, it was thundering out of Yeah, darkness. so this is a, a, I think it's kind of a new anomaly. I mean, I know it's been around for a while, quite a while, but if you guys aren't from Alberta and you've never heard it before, um, in the spring, our moisture is kind of a sleet It's snow. like little frozen hail balls almost. Yeah. It's smaller than like house size, really. Sometimes it looks like, um, peas, white peas. What, or, or what do you, Styrofoam balls, like oh, little, star yeah, yeah. little styrofoam yeah. balls. Anyways, it was thundering with it, so it's kind of a it's cool, really. Yeah, it's kind of neat because yeah. it's ready for rain, but it's still spitting out snow because mm -hmm. we're we're in the foothills, so yeah, very close to the mountains. But um, it was nice; it brought lots of good moisture. That last little blizzard of it that came through. It so did. It did. Lots of good we um, have been driving around a fair amount lately. Mm -hmm. um, went out to see our daughter for the Easter long weekend she lived out in Alfred, BC, and it was actually really nice to see moisture again. Yeah. The creeks are full, the rivers are full, there's there's sitting water in yeah. fields. We have sloughs right now, so. Which I don't think I've seen in a sloughs. few years anyways. It was pretty dry at the end of last year, that's for sure. Yeah, and those mountains are, are still dry. so full. Um, Jessie lives, as you know, she backs onto the side of a mountain. Jessie's my daughter. Backs onto literally the side of a mountain, and they had so much rain runoff spring, that's yeah. how they, their snow goes away, it's rain comes in, yeah. um, that it washed out uh, underneath her fence, the oh. part that's on the hill. Yeah. So her dogs got out the other day. Oh. <clears throat> um, they came back, which is good, but yeah. um, they have to, they're going to have to modify that yeah. with some, some something. concrete blocks or something so it doesn't. Yeah keep washing out on them so because yeah. the little buggers have become the skate artists mm -hmm. <laughs> and once they know how yeah they know where you know they keep finding that same little hole and everything and away they go so yeah yeah and the bears and the elk and everything are so active right now with babies yeah. and yeah. feeding again so of course those darn dogs are gonna yeah they're gonna chase whatever see. comes near yeah <laughs> oh to live in the mountains hey yeah <laughs> It's beautiful, oh, however, yeah. it comes with its own set of issues. Yeah. <laughs> Good issues in my mind, that sort of stuff. Oh, 100%. That's what we said. Yeah. After, if we do get another trailer again, which I think we will eventually, yeah. we said maybe we'll just pull it into your yard. Yeah. <laughs> right? That'll, That'll be, be our spot. spot. <laughs> it's a beautiful space. Yeah. We won't have to find a campsite yeah. or in the mountains. And camp in your daughter's yard, eh? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, I can't wait for camping a few trailers. <laughs> yeah. Good. I gotta get mine too, so yeah, <laughs> gotta get shopping. Yeah, but anyways, uh, yes. So, hope you all had a good Easter. Um, yeah, yeah. mine was pretty quiet. It was pretty quiet. quiet. Too. Yeah. yeah, we did. Uh, I put my back out. That was my problem. <laughs> I put my back out Easter Friday, and I had all my kids coming over Easter Saturday, and I had big ham and everything planned, and we ended up having Chinese food. Mama can't cook when <laughs> Mama <laughs> Mama can so, get off the couch. No, no, it was pretty sad. They had to sit, you know, my new grandson, they had to bring him to me and set him on my lap because it was like, yeah, grandma's not doing too good. <laughs> I'm doing so better, sad. getting better. It's healing, it's just slow, so. Yeah. But it's, I'm on the mend. Yeah. Two days prior to Cindy putting hers out, I put mine out. But I think mine was, a lot of it was from coughing. Mm -hmm. I had bronchitis. So. <laughs> Wendy nicknamed us the Cripple Sisters. <laughs> fabric rep in from Moda yeah and we're sitting back here going through all the new yeah. stuff for fall and, and uh, early spring so pathetic. and we 
both had to keep adjusting and getting up and moving. Yeah. And you know, when you hold a baby and you're rocking yeah. from side to side. Yeah. Oh, it was it was pathetic, I tell you. <laughs> Pop a couple times and all this. But oh well. Yeah. Give me still living. <laughs> extra time for hand stitching, extra time for knitting, extra time for my paperwork she did. For yes, me. I think that <laughs> yeah. You know when you can't uh, you just have to get up and stretch every so often, right? So yeah. yeah. It sucks. Back problems suck. Yeah, they do. But how about See what I mean? We yes. got we got more good stuff. So we're here. Let's start with cheers. cheers. Uh, yeah, cheers. <laughs> grab a coffee, grab a tea. And join us. We've got lots to show you, I think, today. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah. I'm hot. I'm taking my clothes off. Oh, that's how I was um, Let's start with the giveaway, hey? Mm hmm So do you follow us on Facebook and Instagram? I'm so excited about this. So um, in Alberta, planting is after or as some of it up for you. the May long weekend. Um, nobody knows. So um, you can't plant right now, but you can prep to plant. And we've got a fun little giveaway. Um, if you go onto Instagram or Facebook, um, mm -hmm. you like and follow us. And There's you fun. like and follow the other two businesses we've collaborated with. So one is Sweet Joan Co., which is right next door. Awesome little plant store if you've never been. Awesome house plant store. Mm -hmm. Awesome people working there. House plant, and she has seeds, gardening seeds. Gardening seeds. And those are from um, West Coast seeds. And they're in BC. They're so in BC. We've got a six pack of seeds from Angie over at Sweet Joan Co. Yeah. And then these fun Lori. patterns from Lori Holt, which are gardening. They are 16 and a half square when they're done. So six of those to go with your six seed packs. I think this is six. Yeah, there we go. And then um, our friends. So I got my start with the store at Homestead Market in Airdrie. Um, and one of the fellows, the owners, Cody Shepherd, um, started gardening there. Beautiful gardens. Oh my gosh, in the fall, their sunflower garden. Amazing. Oh, that, right? Beautiful. Who doesn't love so sunflowers? Yeah, and he loves gardening, yeah. so he wrote a book, you guys. So this is A Beginner Guide to Gardening um, by Cody Shepard. He's an Airdrie boy. So along with Sweet Joan Co., the patterns that we have here, and the West Coast Seeds, we got a really nice giveaway for you guys. Very nice. So go on to Instagram yeah. or Facebook, um, like and follow all three of us. So uh, Cody's uh, Instagram page is Carrot and Coyote. And carrot, uh, and carrot and coyote, coyote. exactly how it's spelt. Um, and then Sweet Joan Co is at Sweet Joan Co, and we are at Claire's Corner. So like and follow all of us. The contest is going to be open until May twentieth, till yeah, the May long weekend. Long weekend, whatever. Yeah. That, I think it's around the twentieth, anyway. Um, and we'll yeah. be drawing from all the. We will draw from everybody who likes and shares. Yeah. Um, the likes, and follows. likes and follows, pardon yeah. me, the three sites. So yeah. we're really excited for that because it's an awesome package. Yeah, it's a great package. And if you love to garden and you love to sew and you, yeah. it's, it's perfect. Yeah. Yeah. So perfect. That's it. Very nice. Yes. I wish I could enter that one, but <laughs> I'll just go shopping instead. Yeah. <laughs> Darn. All right. We'll set that one aside. Okay. So moving forward, I'm going to show, remember this? In full bloom. In full bloom. I think we still have a few books, or we got a few more books in, right? Yes, we do. So if anybody's interested, the uh, posy stitch along, patchwork posies that I was doing, I kind of got a little behind on it for a bit. Oh, let me just find a colorful picture for you. Here it is. Just a reminder, I've done this, we're sitting farther back from the camera, so I'm oh. just <laughs> I've done this one in different colors, so I decided to redo it for Wendy's shop. So um, here's what I have it's done. It's so beautiful, far. the colors she's working with this time. I have, do you want me to hold something? Yeah, here's one. They, they're on point, so. Yeah. Two, three, and almost four. How fun are those, you guys, for spring? Mm -hmm. Applique blocks. They're so pretty. Yeah. They're really nice bright pops. Make so a great I'm, wall hanging. So once those are all done, then I have to get, you can see these uh, 
the filler squares in there with the um, hourglass blocks. So I've been working together, putting my hourglass blocks together. So pretty. So they're all coming, yeah. So it's gonna be a really pretty spring wall hanging, right? Really yeah. pretty spring wall hanging. So Cindy does needle turn applique with yeah. hers, but you can do machine applique with this, right? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, so yeah. any kind Whatever of Whatever kind of applique you're familiar or comfortable with, really. So, yeah, I think yeah. you could even get creative with there's some DMC floss or something yeah. and do a blanket stitch or... Yeah. In my my first version of this that I did, and I think I've told you that before, this one we're doing rickrack. I'm doing exactly a this little mini itty, itty bitty rickrack. That's what it calls for in the book. But I think my first one I just did um, bias tape, or made my own bias binding. Oh, okay. And, uh, and it looks just as good, I think, so. Yeah. You can do whatever. Such a cute little... Yeah wall hanging or tabletop or whatever. <laughs> so, if all goes well, I should be done that in May, what are we, April? 17th? April 17th today, so. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna attempt to be finished that in May so I can get that up in my wall. <laughs> I could see her wheels turning, did you guys see that? <laughs> she was there smoke coming She was calculating her time. Yeah, like smoke. <laughs> I have been sitting on my sewing machine, the other half for triangle blocks all cut, you know, and ready to put together and everything, so. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm thinking about it, so. Yay. Anyways, so there's yeah. that one, and then, do you want to show something now or not? No, go for it. You've got it right there. This is, we still have to contact Gail Pan, because this is the one little flower block. I've got so one. So cute, you guys. They're the tiniest little blocks. Yeah, there's one of my one little flower blocks done, and this one's in the making. It just uses bits, right? Yeah. It's a fabric, but they're still... Oh, oh garbage going around. <laughs> what a great so scrap of us here, though. Yeah, you know, really, really cute. Super cute. Again, you can do it in any fabrics, any colors, and make it your own, whatever your favorites are. And they're portable. They're so tiny, they're portable, right? Yeah. I have you know, my nice bag, right? I have my threads in here, my pieces. I just have everything in a little mini baggie, but... You know, most people have nicer bags, I guess. They could have done <laughs> she that. has a lot of nicer bags, yeah. but at this time, she's choosing to use a sandwich bag. <laughs> Oops. Don't be fooled. She has quite a collection of bags. <laughs> yeah. It is true. And I could make one, really. Yes, you could. Yes, you could. I'll do my knitting stuff after. You can share. So I wanted to show you guys today. Some of you have probably seen this on Instagram and Facebook, but um, um, bags, bags, bags. Um, mm -hmm. Yes, we are still quilting. Lots of quilting. <laughs> oh, but I should look at the other bag that we're doing the class for. Oh, yeah. We'll, we'll grab that. talk about that one. We'll grab that. So, noodle head designs, again, this is the Peppin Tote. Um, I've used canvas here. I've used a vinyl or a faux leather here. This is from Emmeline Bags out of Edmonton. Um, the, the canvas is a Moda canvas. <clears throat> and handles, um, 28 inch leather blue handles by uh, her Leather Co. out of Calgary. Um, just a fun little tote bag. You know what, this is about, I'm gonna say it's a four hour project. Roughly, roughly a four hour project. I think that we're gonna be doing a class on this because we've had many people ask. So I think we're just gonna find some time on our calendar and do a class. Um, this was a fun little, I had some cool. extra faux leather <laughs> left over and why waste it? Great color. And I have a little bit of zippers left, so I just made a fun little uh, pouch to go in my purse. Maybe for, you know, little blocks like this. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> and then the ins yeah, right? And then the inside of the bag is just a cotton, a really pretty little um, art gallery yeah. cotton. Um, the pattern called for two pockets, you can't really see it, I don't think. Um, kind of. Kind of. Pattern called for two pockets. I chose to split it into three pockets. Yeah. Um, I think that that's better. Yeah. Yeah. They're not so floppy. I did two in mine. I don't have mine here, but I did two in my bag. Yeah. And they're quite floppy. So with just two, because just this two. is this is wide. This is yeah, probably fourteen inches or yes. wide, roughly. I can't remember, so yeah. you want to split your pockets up so that they actually hold things and they don't say. Right. So that's what I did. I just split them up and then. Uh, yeah, zippers inset and stuff. Inset zipper. Inset zipper. Wendy's first inset zipper. Yes, my good. first ever, so not bad. Hey, nice. I'm pretty happy with the way that it turned oh, out. Fantastic. fantastic. Yeah, so, so um, yeah. 
Yeah. Give her a try. Again, because I think about a four hour bag. Yeah. Start to finish Give if you're take. just sitting doing it. And our beautiful leather straps from her leather co. Yeah. Did you say that already? I did. Okay. I did. Um, I am changing out the grommets right now because um, this one is, is fat and bigger. But I use ones that are too small. Yeah. I didn't really pay attention to how big they were. So I'm going to remove all of these. I've ordered some new ones. So once they get in, um, I'll use those. Yeah. Um, it'll look really nice. So I like the little pop of gold in there. And then again, in the zipper. So. Yeah. I yeah. like the zipper you can get anymore because you can have anywhere from, you know, gold, silver, silver um, rose gold, pretty much and rainbow. rainbow. Think of. Yeah, yeah, the rainbow is pretty cool. Yeah. They're fun. Yeah. Brass. Yeah. Like a, yeah, there's there's gold, there's antique brass, there's antique the brass. rainbow, there's the silver. There's so many. Um, there's so gun many. metal. Yeah, it can go with anything, right? Yeah. And, and all it, the findings to match, right? So, so far, I think we have, um, like in yardage for zippers, yeah. we have black, navy blue, um, some gray we got in. We've yeah. got white now. Yeah. So, I don't think and with the different colors of yeah, but and we, yeah, we mixed yeah. all up. <laughs> yeah, different, different. So, yeah. it's fun. You can really make your bags look fun, like jazzy. And very professional. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Very professional. Okay, I'm going to let you talk about this one because. Okay. So, this one is a class that we have coming up. It is called the um, Redwood Tote. So, um, it's going to be on June the 3rd, Saturday, June the 3rd. This is about a six hour class, maybe seven hours, depending on how it goes. With everything already pre-cut. With everything pre-cut. So if you sign up for the class, you um, will get some pre-cutting instructions so that you're prepped when you come in and it's really just working your way through the assembly of the bag. Um, for this bag, we have uh, Christina Waldner from White Dog Designs. Um, also from Airdrie. Yeah, fabulous bag maker. Great so, bag maker. Check mm -hmm. her out on Instagram and mm -hmm. Facebook. She does have a following on both. Yeah. So what she has done with her bag, so I'm going to walk you through the bag. So this is a top zipper. Um, it's not inset, it's right across the top. This is a good size bag. I'm going to say it's about 12 by 12 roughly. I apologize, I don't have the pattern right in front of me. Um, she's got a yeah, front pocket and then the other side nice little pocket here um front or back side whatever you want to yeah. make this it's i've got another pocket a nice zipper pocket um very yeah. deep yeah um and then inside the bag i can hear myself saying um like a hundred mm -hmm. times <laughs> i just can't nuts. get away from it <laughs> <laughs> you're so conscious about it when you're I doing know. these things i know yeah <laughs> and then she lined it with um with yeah. a, there you go <laughs> on a cracker ladies <laughs> and gentlemen whoever's watching us anyways uh, a brunch a light yes, brunch, brunch yeah which is it's so nice it actually is very suiting and yeah. it's got two pockets this is a little tighter bag so i can't yeah, really show you really arrow. um yeah it's got two pockets on the inside too mm -hmm. uh 18 inch no 16 inch straps. i don't know what the straps are i think they're about 18 inch straps yeah. leather straps um, for these ones, uh, Christina actually makes her own. Oh, okay. she's got a, a cutter and she has the larger pieces. So she, oh, because nice. she makes so many bags, yeah. she makes her own. So and then she used uh, inch and a half hardware, the swivel hook and the D hooks the on this side, yeah. with uh, inch and a half uh, cotton webbing. Looks so good. It's such so a nice good. bag. If you're in the area, stop by the shop and check it out. But I mean, we have also, this amazing canvas too. Yeah, in the shop um, right now. Think Ink. Yeah. Think Ink canvas. We have a couple different prints. It's gorgeous, you guys. It's hard to tell, look, but there's little gold bits in it. Look at it. it. See? Little gold bits. Yeah. It's so it's pretty with the gold zipper yeah. and the gold hardware. Yeah. It's such a pretty bag. Yeah. Um, I actually will probably <laughs> make this myself. Me too. Yeah. Because I just love it. And it's nice and sturdy. And, it, and it's really crossbody. It actually. It's actually can be crossbody. So, um, yeah, I want to make it for our trip to Halifax, actually, because I think it'll I be said great. That, I said that to yeah. Tammy the other day. But yeah. Cute, It'll hey? be great for quilt market. And for the plane. Yeah. And so much. But yeah. Yes, we can fill it up at market. Yeah. <laughs> are you going to Quilt Canada? Yeah. If you are, seek us out. We will be there. Yeah. And we would love to say hi. Yeah. Don't be shy, because if we don't recognize you, just...
you know, yeah, grab just us grab us and say hi yeah, that you've seen us. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we're excited. We're really excited to go. It's the first yeah. time for both of us. Yeah, very so, excited. So uh, very excited to be going for four nights and, um, and maybe, enjoying some sights in Halifax yeah. and doing the markets and yeah, yeah, so much that we getting up a yarn store too because you know yarn stores, fabric, fabric stores. stores. <laughs> yeah, I've been looking them all up. So yeah, if you are a yarn store or a fabric store, um, comment on our video and tell us where you are, and we'll come in and say hi. Yes, let us. Know. We would love to know. So yeah. yeah. That reminds me too, um, please comment, or you don't have to comment if you don't want to, but like and subscribe. I, we can see there's lots of people watching, but not as many subscribing. So if you like and subscribe, that just helps to get us out into the YouTube world. and Out get to more, the masses. Yeah, and get more followers. The crafty so, masses. Yeah, like, hit that like button and subscribe. We're trying to get better at putting notes below. Yes, so you know yet. what we're referencing. But we're trying to. So. We do all this ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> so it's been a learning curve, it's but we're enjoying learning it. Process. Yeah. yeah. So. <laughs> but it's been fun. So. It's been a lot of fun. Yeah. 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 What's next? Okay, so next, um, I'll show you a pair of socks, a couple pairs of socks I finished. And then we'll go back to some patterns and stuff. Okay, so I think I told you guys about these socks last time I was working on them. They're so pretty. I know. If you could see these, this green. The color is so nice. Oh, that's actually pretty it's good. It's not too bad. Yeah. That's not bad. So this yarn is from Camp Fiber Yarns. She's Canadian, maybe even Alberta, I think. I wish I knew that stuff better. I don't. Um, and the pattern is by Sock Witchery. It's called String of Lights. It is really my favorite pattern right now. I love it. They are nice socks. It's... um. Oh, this yarn. I just got just I love it. I love 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 this color. If if and you this pattern. if you knit or if you crochet and you like um little projects, I d I've never done this, but I, I aspire to make socks. I crochet, I do not knit. You can crochet socks. But um yes, I bought that book that's mm -hmm. a crochet sock, so I will be trying to do that. But those socks, you guys, are so cozy. So yep. cozy. I just Until love them. Until you try them, you just it's hard to yeah it's hard to know, right? But once you try them on, people think they're bulky and fit, you know, might fit different or whatever, but they, they don't. don't. Not at all. They're just and they're they're warm. They're enough. comfy, they're, they're cozy. Warm. Yeah. Some of them can be washed and dried in the dryer. I most of them can be. Most of them can. Some of mine I like to um, hang them to dry too. But yeah, that's what I do. I hang most of mine. I think you get a little little bit more life out of them. Yeah. But um and these ones Prairie, the pattern is prairie something, but so pretty. The yarn is actually by our neighbor across the road, Polka Dot Creek. This was her 2023 New Year's colorway, and it came in a kit with this little, I don't know if you can see in that yellow, maybe on the There's toe, a bit of it's sparkle. sparkle. Yeah. yeah, and then this is kind of a, a real soft striping in here, and so pretty. Yeah, the pattern, yeah, it's prairie, prairie socks, I think. But I have the same yarn. Um, yeah, so maybe I'll try to do a pair of the crochet, at least yeah. get one done for you before yeah. the next one. Because um, I really do want to dive into that um, and try it out. And I have a crochet pattern actually, Gal. I, I'm on a group, um, oh heck, what's it called? It's new online stuff you can do. No, it's. <laughs> yeah. These couple, couple knitting groups have started it, and it's. Um, Oh, you guys are probably screaming it at me because you probably know what I'm talking about. But you can talk back and forth on these Discord. That's what it is. Oh, on okay. these groups, and there are two knitting groups I'm part of have started doing that. And one of the gals did crocheted socks. Oh, okay. And so she gave me the name of the pattern because I said my sister wants to do crocheted socks. Yes. So I'll let you know. Yeah. What that pattern is. Do. So I would like that. that. I would yeah. like that. So. That's another thing to dive into, but it's another one of those projects that you can carry with you. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Take it everywhere. They're so Who easy. Who doesn't love projects you can take with you on the go? I have a bag full right here. <laughs> one, two, three pairs of socks in it. And uh, actually, this bag, bag was made by Penny at Creek Garden Crafts. Yes. So she's Shelly of Polka Dot Creek. Penny is her mom, and Penny makes bags too. And Wendy had gifted Penny some fabric with the little yarn balls on it, you can see. How cute. And knitting needles. And 
and um, the and same, she made us each and a she bag. made us each a bag. It's corduroy on the bottom. <laughs> she sells her bags over at Polka Dot Creek, but it was the sweetest gift. So thank you, Penny. Mine's at home full, but that's a good thing. I'm using yeah. it. I love it. Oh, I'm gonna show you quick too in here while I'm showing you finish things. Itty bitty sock for my granddaughter. Oh my gosh! Sock number I was one say, that's done. A, that's a Zoe sock. Yeah, I swear <laughs> she's like coming nine. Not till the fall, but. Her foot never grows. It's like she's so little. One day it might just yeah. pop. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyways. So as you can see, I always have lots of socks and stuff on the go. Always. Yeah. And hand stitching. Always. It's good. Yeah. I have, my hand stitching lives beside my couch. Because mm -hmm. at night, um, I to keep me off of this or yeah. an iPad, even though we watch TV or we watch mm -hmm. movies or whatever, my hands need something to do. Yeah, so uh, my hand stitching will sit beside. Oh, okay. I have a story to tell you. <laughs> Freaking hilarious. <laughs> Cindy and I have a combined 20, me 21, great nieces and nephews. <laughs> mm -hmm. So our sister Susan came with us to retreat uh, in Caroline and she rode home with us. She forgot her Yeti mug in my truck. So I took it to her yesterday. She forgets that thing yeah. everywhere. We were out and about, so I said, let's go drop it off. So we just popped in quick. Well, <laughs> sweet Finley, Auntie Wendy <laughs> loves you. He, I go What's walking he in. He's, he's, <laughs> What's he want? What's he remember? The kid has a oh, steel trap in yeah. mind. I was all in, what, I six years old. Ten seconds in the door. Yeah. What did you make me, Auntie? Oh. Because Cindy and I have made him, he is John Deere tractor crazy. Yeah. So he picked, um, well, I turned it off. Anyways, buzzing, yeah. we have cross stitch and, cro oh, and yeah, uh, yeah. embroidery in the store. So a while ago when he was in with his mom and brothers, um, he seen a little tractor cross stitch right. by Lori Holt. Right. But it's a red tractor and the cross stitch. Yeah. Well, of course he wanted it in green, which, yep. And yeah. he's sweet as pie, so the kids got you wrapped yeah. around his pinky. Yeah. So, anyways, mind like a steel trap. He yeah. remembered the trap to oh, cross stitch. Yeah. So he called me out. On it. Jeez, and that was like a month ago. He called me out on it yesterday <laughs> at our sister's house. So I am going to pull it out of my bag of tricks, and we are going away this weekend for you. on a road trip to Edmonton for our cousin's daughter's wedding. Yeah. So I am going to pull it out and start working oh, on Finley's tractor. So I promise you, buddy, it's coming. <laughs> Oh my gosh, what a kid, eh? And thank you for the reminder. Yeah, he'll, con he'll remind, he'll keep reminding you until he has it. He so, will, yeah. yeah, yeah, he remembers he these things, stuff. it's crazy. Yeah. So yeah, and then my sister, she says to him, his grandmother, um, she says, well, you know, your aunties, Auntie Wendy and Auntie Cindy keep making you all these nice things, what are you going to do for them? And he kind of looks at her like, I have to do something for her? And he goes, I don't know. And I said, I know what you can do. Yeah. And he says, what? And I said, you could come wash my floors for me. No. Oh. <laughs> right away. Yeah. No. Darn. <laughs> yeah. So, anyways, anyways I had to tell you that because it was so freaking cute. He is a sweetheart. Yeah, so. yeah. We yeah. don't see each other as often as I would like to see all yeah. the kids, but the fact that at his age, he remembered. Yeah, because he's 16. Instantly. Yeah. yeah, and of course, they were sitting there printing off oh. pictures of tractors so he so could color them. <laughs> well, his brothers would get his cross to do. Yeah. <laughs> Guy. Yeah, so anyways. Anyways, so what's up next? Let's show let's show some of these patterns. I brought this one, the quilt. You want to show this one? Yeah, but it's not the binding's not done, but we can kind of give it a that's okay. The quilt is done. Yeah. But the binding's not completely done, but it's getting there. It's very close. So yeah. this pattern is called contrasting by Zen Chic. Um the fabrics used are filigree. Such a popular fabric line. I'm not going to get this whole thing in here, but we'll try to kind Such of... Such a popular... And we thought it posted on Facebook and Instagram, you guys, but that gives you the yeah. gist yeah. of it. Um, pieced by our friend uh, Shuna, Shuna here in Airdrie, and then uh, Long Arms by Love Shot Quilts, and Cindy and Tammy did a combined effort on the binding. Tammy's done her part. I haven't done mine yet. <laughs> and look at this backing we used. How fun is that? Isn't this that? whole line, you guys, is yeah. so much fun. It's beautiful. It's just 
Yes, it is. It's a really yeah. beautiful line. It's a fun line. It's a bit of a modern twist to a quilt. Yeah, um, absolutely. It finishes at 57 by 57 with no borders. I suppose if you wanted a border on it, you could yeah, put you borders could on it to make really it a little bit bigger yeah. than what it is. Yeah. Um, we do have the fabric in stock. I have had to reorder the white and the black um, because we've already gone through what yeah. was used on this quilt. Um, the black I was able to get exact. The white is going to be a little bit different than the one that you see here. It was so popular. It's um, with the seed, the seed pods, the dandelion seed pods. Such a cute fabric. This one, but so popular um, that it's sold out. Yeah. You can't get it anymore. So the one that I got also um, equally this? cute. Yeah, it's exactly that one there. So it's the white one, one that there. Cindy's pointing at there. Yeah. So. I, I would say they look like little wheat seeds or something. Yeah. But um, yeah, yeah. Equally cute. We do have a couple charm packs left. We have a layer cake left. But I think that. So modern. So very It's very modern. modern. And we've talked about this. You can. The triangles in there. You can do just about anything. I mean, if you want to cut your own five inch squares um, for, for yeah. that portion of it, you yeah. could. Out of anything. Um, and one thing when I was chatting with Shuna the other day, when I was dropping off another quilt for her to work on for us, she, um, thank you by the way, Shuna. <laughs> um, nice job, Shuna. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's, it's too convenient. She's my neighbor. <laughs> yeah. Literally, like right across the street. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But she was saying that, um, you know, it would be neat to see it in another colorway. Mm -hmm. So I think we're going to do another colorway in it. Just yeah. to show you what it looks like. And it's, and it's very modern. I think you can make it look spectacular in pretty much any reproduction, country, any type of theme you could probably. Yeah. It just gives it a new look, right? Just, just a different a fun look. quilt. Yeah. yeah. And and she said it was pretty quick once she started yeah. working on it. Because really it's half square triangles you're making. Yeah. Right? Half square triangles and uh, I think she said the part that took her the longest was when she was just trying to sort them to oh, see where they would go. Yeah. Just to place them. So yeah. So that's good to know. She did a fabulous job. Yeah. So we do really have a few good. more of these patterns in stock. Um, lots of fabric and stuff. Uh, check it out. It's on Instagram and Facebook, and this will be up in the shop this week. So hanging in the shop. So yeah, yeah. it's awesome. It's a great, great fabric line. Okay, now I'm gonna go grab the bundles for Subway. Okay. So you can talk can about these ones. Something. Yeah, because I think those. It's nice. Ooh, bad hip, bad hip. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So one of the everybody likes a good pattern. Um, something that they can do quickly, uh, they can change the look of it, be might become your favorite. I know one of ours, and we've told you about it before, is the Yellow Brick Road. There's just so many options with it, and they always look different. I actually pointed out one of the ones that we have on display in the store last week to a lady, and she couldn't believe it was the Yellow Brick Road pattern. Um, very soft pinks and grays, uh, beautiful. It's a beautiful quilt. We've got two Yellow Brick Roads actually in the shop right now, and one of them is done out of the... Um, Buttercup, 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 butters, yeah, buttercup and slate. <laughs> oh my God, my brain is just, I left it in the wind today, you guys. Uh, by Cory Oder, Cindy did that one, looks so pretty for spring. And then the other one is done in the pinks and grays and it hangs in our front window. Um, but that's a favorite. So what I'm getting at is we have these patterns in, most of these are Villa Rosa designs. Um, that one is called Planters. It finishes at 60 by 72 inches. It's one card. It's, it's a post. crazy because all these teeny tiny little postcard patterns finish at lap size quilts. At lap size quilts. Yeah, they're really good finish And I, this is no border. Out of border. And you can make it a little yeah. bit bigger. However, and the kind of block that they are. Sorry, I'm going to flip it around. Oh, don't let the, you're not yeah. supposed to show patterns. Oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so excited about it, Ooh. you guys. Anyways, no, the kind of block that it is. Well, just here, do this, maybe if we can. There you go. The kind of block that it is, you can make this quilt yeah. as big or as small as you want it. You can make it a table yeah. runner. Um, so we've got a few that are like that. So Little that one is called that. Planters. Fun for spring, yeah. right? Um, then we have uh, Illumination. Another fun one. Also finishes at 60 by 75. I love that these are postcard yeah. patterns. That's it. There's, that's just half square That's triangles. It. Yeah. 
And then this one is Fat Quarters, 62 by okay. 76. So that Stargazer. One, that one right now I am doing in uh, Ruby Star. Oh, Remember? yes. Yes, I that Fat Quarter. That. Fat quarter. We got a Fat Quarter bundle of Ruby Star. Yeah. And it's bright, fun colors, right? Moon Glow. Moon Glow. Yeah. Moon Glow is the line. So that's what I'm doing right now. It's this pattern out of Moon Glow. That'll be so quarter. nice. Yeah. You guys check out Moon Glow yeah. online. It's a really pretty line and we yeah. have it in stock. So yeah. And yeah, Cindy is doing the samples. So I'm doing the stars all in the blue and then all the rest is like those pinks and peaches and yellows. I think it's really nice. Yeah. Really nice. And what size is that one? So this is 62 by 76. Again, Fabulous. No borders. Quilt. No borders. Yeah. You know how quickly you can make this like mm -hmm. 80 by 90? Yeah. Just by adding some cute little borders around it. Yeah. So a um, couple more I've got here that I wanted to show you. So this one is called Remember Me. Um, that's a braid, you guys. Most of you or a lot of you have done a braid. I For, think they should have oh, done. Oh, wait. But you know what? I should have read it first. They actually did this in House Four Triangles. Oh, they did. Yeah. It looks like a braid, which is cool, but they did this in half square triangles. Yeah. So I wish they would have picked different fabrics. It's hard to see the fabrics on the background color. Y yeah, right? true. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so again, remember me, this finishes at 60 by 72. Back quarters again. Easy peasy, people. But it's also um, half square triangle. Oh, no, it would be, yeah, fat quarters the way they've done it. But it's an awesome little pattern. Mm -hmm. Great pattern. This one's similar to the first one. So this one's called Ice, Iceberg. Yeah. But 48 by 60. It reminds me of those magnets. You know no, what we, Or tuning forks? Yes, that's what I'm thinking of. Not magnets, tuning forks. Tuning yeah. forks. Yeah. yeah. That's what it reminds me of. Yeah. yeah. Lots of these in stock, you guys. Yeah. If you want a quick, easy pattern that you can use time and time again and easy. change it up. Easy. Change it up. Yeah. Yes, if you want something quick, and easy, lots in stock. I think we've got seven or eight of these in stock right yeah, now. Different styles. Them. You'll love them. Come check them out. Yeah. Okay, so did you show them Subway? Oh, no, I didn't yet. This pattern I'm fawning over right now. Okay, so um, our friend Tammy, she also works here, is working on this one for us right now. Yeah. So um, this is called Subway. Look at that, you guys. And, these and look at the fabric Cindy chose. So for the what bricks. Tammy is using for uh, the sashing in between the, the bricks, the grout, yes, yeah. is, yeah, that black um, grunge. grunge fabric. Oh, looks she's amazing. got it. She's working away on it right now. She's about halfway done. Oh, it looks fabulous. It looks so good. Yeah. A couple of people have already bought this pattern and a couple of the bundles because so sixty dollars and fifty cents gets you eleven fat quarters to make that pattern. It. I can't say enough about it. And I think it she's working on so she's working on a lap size, correct? Yeah. Yeah. So I'd have to look up what the lap size is for you, but your background, you need uh, two and a quarter yards. So yeah. that's two meters yeah. of the black. It just looks phenomenal. For the, the grout yeah. or the sashing fabric, but yeah. it's going to look so amazing. So this Another, is going to be up in the shop soon. Yeah. And uh, it's modern. It's very modern, I think. Oh, I do too. You know, it's, um, I completely do. And there's so many fun things that you could this. do with this. I just love these. Yeah. I can't wait. Yeah. I think I'm going to be making one of these myself because I'm just in love with it. I and absolutely it's, love it's it. quick. Yeah. It's bricks. Yeah. Bricks and sashing. Yeah. So um, I think it'll so be, good. yeah, I think it'll be a lot of fun. Um, I'm going to set this here for you to it's, all look at. And it's fat quarter friendly, but um, I wonder if it's, I don't remember the size of the strips. Do you? I'm no, just curious. I think the sashing is like one and a half inches cut or something like that. Yeah. And the bricks. Yeah. They're, um, it looks so good. If it does, does. Yeah. it really does. I think we have to. No, so you're cut at two and a half inch. So if you wanted to, you could use a jelly roll. Yeah, you probably could. Yeah. I mean, if you wanted something just like something that. totally we different. Had, we had so much fun though picking these fabrics. Yeah. So yeah. So Tammy, as soon as this pattern came in, she expressed her interest in wanting to do it up for the store, which was great. <clears throat> so uh, she was coming in one day for a sew day, yeah. and uh, Cindy and I had a hoop out in the <laughs> shop picking out all the fabrics and then we very nicely displayed it in this round display yeah, with the funny. pattern in the center 
and we put a little card on it that said surprise <laughs> on her sewing table before she got here <laughs> so that she would uh, and she was excited and we're yeah. glad she was excited because yeah. you gotta have fun with it it's mm -hmm. just it's so much fun and it's gonna be so good looking yeah. especially if she sent us pictures pictures, pictures today. yeah yeah well late last night again yeah she she likes to quilt late and yeah. i know some of you do too too but uh, yeah. yeah yeah it was neat it was neat hey before we forget oh great yeah redwood manor redwood manor how are you guys doing on it um we now have three blocks each yeah it's kind of cool to see how different how they're coming our, together our blocks are right from yours to mine so um, yeah different themes but um, let us know in the comments below how you're doing if you're and what your colors are. If yeah. you guys can post a picture on um, Instagram, yeah, mm -hmm. I would love to see a picture. Or um, you can message us on Instagram with a picture, right? Yeah. Or and if you don't mind, I would love to share them. Yeah. Um, message us through Instagram. Message yeah. us through Facebook or um, email mm -hmm. Claire's Corner at gmail.com. Yeah. KK. Um, so yeah, but. I'm loving the way they're coming together and actually yeah. when I did this one it's kind of a caramel color on the outside that is when I decided that I'm gonna do because I was gonna kind of try to do all blues yeah yeah but now I'm gonna do a complete mix yeah I, I, I'm going kind of scrappy now I kind of went that way a little bit because I was red red and then this is not it's I guess it's a take on a red but it's more sure of a, you know it's a little barn board red yeah brick so yeah, but I really like it. Brick so, red, actually. Yeah. Yes, yeah. very much a brick red, I would yeah. say. Anyways, it's fun. It's yeah. a fun block to do. Yeah. I'm hesitant because we're coming up <laughs> on the point where we're gonna start sashing. Yeah. Just so we can show you kind of the finish in between. Yeah. Okay, so the stars are about this big. Yeah. Can you see that? That's about four inches by four inches. For your yeah, your cornerstone. <laughs> your cornerstones. And stuff. Yeah, they're tiny. So but I haven't decided on that either. I might do one and see if I really like doing it. Or, or if you just put in just a regular cornerstone or yeah. just a regular yeah. sashing. Yeah. I thought that too. Yeah. And then I thought maybe you could do like just half of the stars and just kind of intersperse them. Oh, well, that looked odd to me. <laughs> I couldn't do it. Or I couldn't do it. <laughs> maybe I'll try that. Yeah. Depends. So, they're tiny little stars. I'm yeah. kind of excited to try them because I have been enjoying minis. Yeah. Which I didn't think I would, but I do. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we'll see. Yeah, it's exciting though. So let us know how you're doing with your Redwood Manor. Yes, we would love to see it. Yeah. So, um, what else do we have? The foundation paper? Yeah, yeah, so for all of our Lori Holt lovers out there, we carry Lori Holt fabrics. We just got in her, some of her new line, uh, the Vintage. Um, some of them? I'm, isn't that all of the? No, there's another full yard uh, bundle coming in. Wow. So oh, she I, was, I was ironing a lot on Saturday and I'm still not done. I think I'm probably about halfway done. 50 yards Because we're pre-cutting, <laughs> we're cutting it into bundles. So yeah. <laughs> and it's, it's a fun online. line. Yeah. So um, anyways, right now online, if you go to Lori Holt's blog, she's doing this paper piecing. Uh, it's a six inch block and she's doing it right now online. Vintage kite. Yeah, so if you go to her blog and check it so out, show them on you can get these fabrics or any of her fabrics in our store. Of course, you could use any fabrics that you want, but we carry the paper piecing. Um, these pads here. Yeah. Pads. So it shows you the different sizes of quilts you can make with the number of blocks. There's instructions in here on how to do it. I can just show them quick. But here's, yeah. Right? So here papers it's a pad full of all the papers to make each individual kite so and this makes 42 42 six, of inch. These six inch blocks so if you put a sashing in between you yeah. can make a decent size lap quilt again so mm -hmm. for the lap quilt it takes 80 blocks okay that, that's 48 and a half by 60 and a half with with just the blocks there's just no the sashing. Blocks. so that's two pads right 42 yeah, yeah. two pads at nineteen fifty a pad, so that's not too bad. I don't think forty dollars. I don't either. either. Yeah. yeah. So, and it's um, oh, it'll look stunning. Yeah. Once it's all together. So. Yeah. Again, and you can whatever fabric, whatever fabric, whatever fabric yeah. you like. Yeah. And if you're new to foundation piecing, it's not it's not as hard as you think it's going to be. So it's um, 
it's laid out really well, her, her explanation in, in here and stuff, and YouTube, or heck, if you're local, come in, I'll help you, I'll show you. There so, you go. So yeah. Cindy and I do want to do some foundation paper piecing, and she's also teaching me. She, so she's just taught me um, the English paper piecing, which mm -hmm. I'm loving, by the way. Mm -hmm. um, so now she's going to teach me the foundation paper piecing, and I would love to, to show yeah. it on here. So we're doing yeah. a log cabin, a six-inch log cabin block, yeah. as well as we're going to try this um, Lori Holt block. But I think it's just another fun skill. Yeah. Um, you know, it keeps you from... Things can get monotonous sometimes, yeah. and I've talked to a lot of people that like to do a variety of different styles, mm -hmm. um, just to keep them busy. There's so many patterns out there, so many quilting patterns out yeah. there, right? Yeah. And, you know, if if you want to branch out a little bit from just piecing on your sewing machine, just your regular piecing with your quarter inch seam, there's a lot of other options like foundation paper piecing and yeah. English paper piecing by hand and stuff like that. And Seriously, if you're local and you're stuck or you just want a little show and tell or something, come in and let us know. Yeah. We're more than but happy. If you're not, not local, send an email with some pictures. Yeah. We can answer through, you know, as best we can through an email. We can try to do a little video and show we you. We could. We could. <laughs> she could teach me. How about that? We'll do it on here. Oh, yeah. 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 We'll, we'll see how it goes. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. So, what else do we have? I think that's about it. So you got the bag class coming. Yeah. We have our sew days still running strong. Yeah, and I just recently posted the newest newsletter, so that's got the next. Well, we just had a sew day on this past okay. Thursday, the thirteenth. So we've got three more sew days. Check it out on our Facebook, not a Facebook page, our website, um, and there's a link to our newsletter where there, and there's a link to our YouTube channel mm -hmm. through there, and yeah. that'll tell you when the next sew days are. They're fun. Yeah. They're fun. We had yeah. eight. People it was a full one. Last it was full last week. We had eight people. That's kind of where we max it out. We could do nine. Yeah. Um, but we kind of max it out at eight, and it's just fun. So yeah. for our sew days, you just call us and you say, "I want to come." Whether you come by yourself or you come with a friend, we have the tables, the chairs, the coffee center. Yeah, you just need to bring. You just need to bring your project to work on. Yeah. Uh, sewing machine if you want. Hand sewing if you want. Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter. If you even want to sit here and knit and visit. We're good with that. It's just fun days to yeah. uh, meet with like-minded people in your area. Yeah, we've had new gals come that have just moved into the community and wanted to meet people, and they've joined and yeah, really enjoy it and stuff. So, um, oh, we have our mystery quilt coming the end of the month. Yes, and we do have one or two spaces left. Mystery quilts are fun. Yeah. Um, you don't get to know what it looks like until about halfway through when the pattern starts Ooh. coming together. Uh, what we do with our mystery quilts is we send you the cutting instructions about two weeks in advance. So they'll be going out this week uh, to the people who are joining us this month on April 30th. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, you come in, you sit down and you sew. So you pre-cut what we tell you to pre-cut and you come in, you sit down. Um, Cindy is usually the caller. She tells you what to do next. And this month it'll be myself and Tammy on ironing and um, yeah, un so and unsewing. You don't have to press anything. Nope. We press it all for you. You don't have to pick out anything if you sew it together wrong. Yep. That's done for you. Lunch. Lunch is served. We're going to provide lunch. We got coffee. We got tea. Yeah. You bring yourself, your machine, and your pre cut yep. fabrics. You leave with the copy of the pattern in the end. Yep. Um, yeah. And a quilt, and usually a lap fun. size quilt to finish the top. Yeah, it's a good so, size yeah. lap size quilt. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. and it's, it's fun. Really we have it. We always have a good time. So. Yeah, exactly. So, anyways, I think that's about it. Eh? I think that's about it today. Yeah. So thanks for joining us again. Um, looking forward to next month where we're going to try to bring you. Maybe we'll try a to get a little more missing. regular. With yeah, them. yeah. You know, it's only because life we happens. Were, it's only because we were a little later. Later. Yeah. <laughs> life happens. I'm sure you all understand that. Too. So, yeah, yeah and I, I actually do want to say a quick thank you before we sign off um, to everybody that understood the importance of us closing on Easter weekend. Uh, mm -hmm. Holidays like that have always been really important to our family. Mm -hmm. uh, we always make a point of spending it with family. Uh, now we've kind of condensed into just our own family units. But I actually had somebody comment on how refreshing it was to see us actually close oh, for the whole wow. weekend instead yeah. of staying open. 
thank you for that. Thank you for understanding. Mm -hmm. Family time is so important, and it's important to remember why we do our adventures like this, mm -hmm. so that we can um, find that balance yeah, between exactly. what we love and yeah. our family, yeah, exactly. who we also love. Yeah. <laughs> Woo, love the else. Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. We're good. We are. Okay. Thanks, everybody. See you guys. Have a great month. April. Bye. Bye.